There is a whole new world waiting for us in today's episode on the server of the beef. And welcome back to <laughs> the beefy Minecraft from the Vintage Craft server. My name is Dave, and I'll be host for this episode. As always, <laughs> uh, yeah, new season, Vintage Craft starts today. Look who's back, Skilly Boy. <laughs> a lot of names I remember. There, oh, look, there's a flying bee. I think that's probably frog. Maybe it's tilted. There's Pedor. There's tilted, so that's probably frog flying around as a bee. Um, I saw Smorpheus, Megagran is there, uh, fan favorite. Um, I think I saw Ant already. Uh, the server hasn't started yet, but I'm pretty sure he has his mending villages set up. So, yeah, this will be, oh man, this, th this will be fun. I do have some plans, uh, what I want to do this season, but before I get talking to that, let's, um, the server is starting like any, any minute. I <laughs> literally... Hey, Dr. Whoops is here. I literally just joined, um, done making food. Uh, I haven't even eaten yet. I have the food next to me, but uh, I don't want to miss the actual start of the whole thing, so... Um... Yeah. We'll, we'll run in there in two minutes, apparently. And then, then, then we get talking. No, are we not going in? Yeah. Prepare for no. the server to crash. Can't get in, can we? Oh, I'm in! I'm in! in. <gasps> Oh, where's north? Where's north? That's south. North is this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Towards the bamboo. Oh. I didn't even realize we were going to spawn in Time the to get bamboo. And there we go. We are on the server SCC. Oh, I'll just saw it. I actually ate a little bit of the food I, I, I cooked when I said. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering, Kaiser Spätzle. So there you go. That's what I'm eating. Um, <laughs> these, these trees um, will not live much longer. Um, I'm gonna take some bamboo. Mm -hmm. We got that set up. Then I'm gonna punch. Okay. Was that a creeper? There's a skeleton. Okay. Ah, oh, rascal. <laughs> oh boy. Poor rascal. But that's hilarious. Oh, I saw that man. He he ran past me. The creeper did. <laughs> he was heading straight for you. All right. So. Um, but yeah, this will be your normal Minecraft episode, I mean, you've all, all seen that, um, you know, get on server, greet the pandas, hello, punch wood, mine some diamond, and because this is 1.16, netherite pickaxe. So let's talk about the plans for this season. Um, this season will be more like season one, right? The way it is run, how we have no build team, we don't have districts, there's not much plan out beforehand, really. It's just a community going at it, uh, building the things. Um, that's nice. But one thing that I really liked about season one that made it different was the terrain gen, right? Well, we're playing on 1.16 and we have the normal terrain gen, but how about we build our own biome? Ooh, and with all the new nether blocks in this update, how about we make it evil? Lots of fire. But then, that has been done before, so... I thought, how about we build ourselves a wasteland? Of ice and fire. Both of them. Yeah. Mixed. So, um, the idea is we'll take this desert, um, the whole desert, um, well, up to the river, and we'll have lots of stone. Then we have a bunch of reds and fire and lava flowing there on the mountain. And then a little bit to the side, we have like ice going down the mountain and some snow and some glaciers and blues mixed in and some reds over there. And then, I don't know, maybe over there we have like a geyser and there's just ice uh, blocks floating around and stuff like that. And then there's a big spire of stone, and I think it will be pretty sweet. So, yeah. I had a look at the overview map, and I thought, hey, this desert looks pretty cool, because there's a vanna around, there's um, uh, a forest over there, and I thought, I want to have a desert so it doesn't rain in there. And, yeah, I just think this will work out best for my build. 
Well, while I was talking about that on uh, Discord, I got a message uh, from another player on here. I was like, hey, I plan on building my own biome kind of too with like the new nether blocks and that kind of stuff. And I thought I'll settle up uh, in the Savannah Plateau thingy. Well, the Savannah am behind me. <laughs> Guess what player that is? Flusmaker. So we kind of had the same idea, right? We're building our own biomes and then... He picked that biome, I picked that biome, before we knew of each other's plans. Um, not just a plan to do the thing, like to build the biome, but also to settle here, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, we will be half sharing supplies, I'm pretty sure. I've been using uh, the nether portal up there already um, to get the nether right. Uh, I, I found like two pockets of the ancient debris, and I got six... Uh, ancient debris, like, I got found two pockets of three. That was pretty sweet. So, yeah. Anything else to talk about? Not quite sure. Um, I think the first thing I want to do, um, is sort of mark out the perimeter. So, I want to make sure that people know that I've claimed this whole desert. Um, I don't feel good claiming the whole desert at, um, you know, day one. Um, feel kind of bad about that, but on the other hand, it will probably be one of those things that it might be a little obnoxious if you're the kind of Minecraft player that, you know, likes to have a cow farm and a nice little hut and some flowers and, I don't know, some parrots. Um, if you have this wasteland while I'm planning right next to you, you probably won't like that, so it's almost like a warning. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I plan on going around, mine a bunch of stone and just line the outside to where I want to have the biome uh, get to pretty much just run along the desert. Maybe smooth it out a, a little bit, um, make it look all nice. And then the terrain in here, we can completely change. How much? I'm not quite sure. We'll probably start with um, sticking to the highs and lows a little bit until I really got figured out what I want to do with the place. And then we'll go crazy. But yeah, the desert, th this is still the part that I want to change, right? There's still one of my signs. This desert is actually way bigger than anything that I want to do. Um, it gets fairly narrow over here, but then it expands. And the rest of the desert is like four times as big as the thing that I'm claiming over here. And this is obviously not the only desert on the whole map. So it's not like I'm taking away much from, from people. I will have a lot of sand to sell though, probably. Since I'm covering the whole thing. Is the plan. You see how big it is? Um, I'm gonna need some stone donations. I'm gonna calling it <laughs> I'll be calling it now. I'll need supplies, people. Um help. And that's also why I wanted to get the netherite pick early on. Um and the good gear. I just started on the Minecraft server like a month ago. And I did all the gearing up in videos over there, so I didn't want to do that again for videos. So I just want to make some progress. Oh, and also, I've never enchanted a netherite pick. Usually, I build up my diamond picks to the perfect enchants that I want to have, and then turn it into netherite. Um, they they say netherite has a pretty good um, thing for enchanting, right? You get very high enchants if you enchant netherite itself. Um, so... I want to check that out. And I mean, we can always unenchant things nowadays, you know? In these, in these Minecraft of, of the young people, right? Back in my day, that was not a thing. But nowadays, it is, so we should definitely use it. Ooh, that was a bit of a fight, but I found myself a spawner, a zombie spawner, sadly not a skeleton spawner. We are in a savannah, so this is probably closer to Flu's stuff. Um... I'll uh, let him know that this uh, spawner is here. I will make sure I got the goodies since I found the place. Um, I also got the I uh, got a skeleton to shoot a creeper. That was pretty cool. Um, Flues went off to the resource world and he already got a bunch of good loot from over there. I'm sure of that, so um, I, I don't feel bad taking these things. I should actually probably leave the chest here and only take the good stuff since my inventory is somewhat full. Uh, I'll leave that, and that, and that. I'll take the gold. I got more bows. I will probably bring those with me, though. Okay, another saddle. Diamond, gold, and iron horse armor from this. Very nice. There is more zombie noises over here. 
There's not another spawner, right? There was a lot of zombies here. Yeah, that's what I dug out. There's somewhere. Oh, well, well, I, I guess that's where they are. Wow. What? What are they all doing up there? Maybe they tracked me and they all went to over there. Maybe there's another spawner. I don't know. I, I doubt it, to be honest, but... Oh, should go and check. That was only one spawner, not the second one, but look at how close that one was to uh, Flues. Well, that's the spawner over there, and then that's over there is where flu started to set things up and then that over there is my place which again is, is very close if we can turn that into a bit of a um, xp farm that would probably be pretty convenient especially since we are really far out from spawn um so any sort of xp farm that people build will probably be really far away and we should kind of have something close by that would be nice. Uh, in the meantime, I have extended my farm over there. I have some sugar canes over there now. I got two mob hats. Um, we have a plugin that you sometimes just get these while killing uh, mobs. I got a skeleton and a spooler right over there. Um, now, next thing I want to do is start setting up an enchanting system. I know Flues has an enchanting table somewhere. Uh, but I want to have my own. I think I still have some diamonds. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I'll uh, get some obsidian, and I got the sugar kit already for the books. I don't have any cows. So here's something that I usually never do early on. Uh, I'm gonna get a cow farm. Look at that. Well, I'm gonna get some cows at least. Let's get some in the side walls. 32 of them. And have a bit of a cow pen. Do they need grass? I don't think they do, right? Um, let's have them maybe over here. This should be far enough away to not be too loud. I don't have any leads yet, uh, since I have no slimes. So we're doing this the old school way. I don't know if there are any cows over there. I know there are some cows over there. I've seen a few cows over there, but that was very few, and I don't want to take them away um, from the place. So let's have a look over here. This would be fairly convenient, super close. Oh, cows. Perfect. I only see two at the moment. That's three. Four. Okay. Yeah, let's have... Well... I don't think that really matters if I breed them. Since they will all follow me anywhere. Ah, well, whatever. Here, come on. I got some stuff for you. You follow me. Go over there. If any of you get lost, you can live here. The rest of you... Come with me. Come on now, it's getting night time. This has been taking quite a while. We almost made it. Almost made it. Just up the sand block. Come on, guys. There we go. Into the pen. Nice. Good. You live in there now. Um, I'll give you some torches at some point. Well, that's a good start. We now have access to good food and the leather, which is something I usually only do <laughs> fairly, fairly late into the whole progression. I mean, I have a netherite pick by now, but, you know, um, definitely earlier than I usually get these. So, now while I work on getting all the leather we need and all the reeds, so I'm pretty sure we already have uh, all that stuff, I'm gonna take all the cobblestone I own, um, turn it into slabs, like that, there we go. And I'm gonna start building a border around the place. At first I wanted to use like just cobblestone blocks, but then I realized, hey, if I use slabs, I need like half the amount of cobblestone, which is probably many stacks <laughs> less if I just use slabs compared to actual blocks. So yeah, we're doing that. Um, I want to have the slabs around just so it's obvious uh, that this place is claimed that you can't go in on accident. Do we go around the river or... Well, let's, let's, let's kind of go like this. And I also have some signs around the place um, saying that, that this is Daveland and that all this stuff is claimed. Just so people know. You know, I keep switching my perception on this. Um, when I first claimed this area, I was like, oh man, this is this 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 is way too big. What am, <laughs> what am I getting myself into? But then when everything is loading, it's like, I mean, yeah, it's a big project, but it's not that ridiculous, right? So, currently I'm of the impression that, yeah, no, this is a decent size, and I might even have to expand into, um, 
bit more of the savannah around it because I'll run out of room, possibly. Uh, <laughs> no words on that yet. So we'll definitely just stick in with the desert for now. Uh, oh, don't do that, little bunny. Um, probably knows what's what's to come with this place. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go and expand now. But we we might do that in the future. Building up our own cow supply actually takes quite a while. So how about we head over to the resource world, which is where we are right now. These are the new portals that we have from um, server to the hub. Um, and let's go around and kill some cows. Uh -huh. I don't want to do that in the uh, normal world, right? I don't want to just get rid of all the cows. But in the resource world, I don't care too much. Nobody has built a farm close by yet, but I mean, it's just, we're still within 24 hours of the server launch, so obviously uh, to be expected. I'm just gonna head out, um, try to find some cows, see how much le leather I can get. I saw Flus actually has a full enchanting system, um, which I kind of expected to be honest, but I want to have my own and I need some levels still anyway before I can use one, so I might as well get the leather and the levels at the same time, you know. Uh, I have the lapis and all that sort of stuff, so that's not a problem. Ooh, look at that! Not a cow, but maybe some loot. I think they have some chests, right? Not good ones, but chests nonetheless, so... Might as well have a look. See what they got to offer. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> Alright, sneak in. <laughs> Nobody up here. Hey, balls of enchanting and a crossbow. Nice. I'll take that. We'll take all the things actually. Even the tripwire hook. Don't really need that one, but I mean, I keep forgetting the recipe for those, so I might as well just have one laying around. This is my tower now. <laughs> uh, very good. Hey, I'm leaving. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, they're following me. Hey, I got some fans. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's one of those new portals. Uh, these spawn now in the overworld and in the nether. Um, there usually is some gold and stuff around it. So I guess somebody mined that out. So somebody definitely has been here. I hope they left some cows alive for me to not leave them alive. <laughs> Hello, cow. Ooh, leather. Nice. I think that's the first bit I got. And no leather from that one. Okay, there's another one. And I saw, next to the cows, there is a, another one of those portals. You know, those other portals that spawn in the overworld. Uh, and this one seems to be untouched. There was some gold floating around, and I kind of want to take that. Right over there. So this is what they look like. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. I like it. I don't know if there's more stuff around, usually. It's the first one I've found. Um, but yeah, that, that gold block right up there, uh, I'm gonna get that. Ooh, shiny. Nice. I am up to 40 leather, we need 45, I'm sure, but I found a village. So, I think it's time to trade with the locals. What you got? Ooh, emeralds. Wow, I didn't know that the emeralds spawn in these. Hey, what you guys selling? Um, leather tunic. Uh, leather... Tu hey, I could sell you some leather. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> uh, okay, what else? Um, yellow bit, don't need that. Um, here, what, what, what do you sell? Sir? Projectile protection? Three. Ooh, and bookshelves. Ooh, it would actually be very handy to have. You know what I think with these? We now have enough books uh, and, and leather to make our full enchanting setup. Very neat. Very nice. Um, there are, as I said, there are villages close to our base, and there are some bookcases in those houses too, but again, I don't really want to ruin the villages in the normal overworld, survival world, right? So I'd much rather just do that over here. Ugh, stone tools. So yeah, I'd much rather just do that over here in the uh, resource world. That's what this world's for. Brewing stand, don't mind if I do. Brewing stand. Oh, never mind. I'll, one, one's enough. Some apples. I'll take those. Ooh, I could buy some redstone for me, huh? Very nice. Very nice. What do you got in here? Got a brewing stand. Maybe I should take that one. 
Um, yeah, no, I think, I think that was the whole village. But I got all the things I need now. I'm pretty sure. So let's head back home. But Dave, I hear you ask, how will you go back to your place? You said you're really far out, and if you go through the portal, back to the survival world, you're all the way at spawn. <laughs> hell? The Flusmeister has been busy and in oh hey, that house is new. Uh, in the nether, he actually built a sort of connection. He put up some signs and dug some tunnels. Um, think that away. Uh, so we actually have pretty decent access to the nether now. That's Lucas base, I think. Somewhere oh, over here. What's that? Aha! The flute maker and that sound. That's me. There. There. That's me. Uh, so this way. And then two flute maker and flash out. Mm hmm. Let's see, there's another sign to flute maker and flash out. Okay. I think that's the right way. Cobblestone staircase. Very fancy. Can't lose that. Oh, there's a big arrow. There's a big arrow right in, right in front of our face. Uh, there's a sign next to it too. Two signs even. What do these say? Two flute maker and flash out. No. Uh, this one is to spawn. What was the other one? Two flute maker and flash out. Yeah, I think that's the way we want to go. Ooh, I see another sign. I see another sign. Oh, uh, I, w I was, I was worried. If I'm gonna miss the next one. To flute maker and flash out. Yeah, I think we're still on the, on the right track. Hmm, I don't know where to go now though. I see a torch. Maybe we should just go to the torch then. Huh. Where now to though? Oh, wait, th this looks weird. This looks like it's carved out. What's this? Flusmaker and Fnassel. Well, it's our nether portal. That's what that is. What's what's that? <laughs> That's new. Okay. Um, there is a way down here, and I dug ways down to there to um, get the ancient debris. That's where I got that from. I don't know what this is, though. That that tunnel. I don't know where that goes. Is that new? You know, I really thought I'd end up with more levels um, after killing all those cows, but we're still at level 28, so now one and a half levels. Let's see. Just got some gold in here. That's nice. Uh, what do we have there? Some iron. Okay, we're almost at level 29 then. Close. Today I learned something new. You can activate these belts with the right stone. That's good to know. Uh, so, I got all the obsidian we need. I got some bookshelves. Let's get our diamonds. Two of them will be enough for our enchanting table. Hoza. Um, Where do we put it? Um, hmm. So, I think I want to start with working on the biome over there. We'll take this sort of mountainy thing and then we'll turn that over into our terrain gen, right? Work things out over there. So let's just leave a little bit of space. Actually, let's just have it up here. I mean, I'll probably have Sulk Dutch within a few hours of playtime after this, so, you know, who cares? I'll just build this up. That one. Oh no, that, that one's actually bad. Never mind. <laughs> Breaking that. Good. I uh, have one there and one here. Okay, that should be all good. Level 30, we get efficiency 4. Let's do that. Give me my lupus. And let's see what we get. Right. I'm not level 30 yet. A little bit of quartz mining can fix that pretty fast. And we got fortune 2. Wow, that. I'll unenchant this one and then we'll try again once I'm level 30. Um, fortune 2 really is not good for anything. Um, especially not if it's a netherite pick. Right, we can't really just enchant another netherite pick and then just combine the two, which is why I usually stick to diamond tools. Um, so yeah, but I mean, for now, it ha does have efficiency four and a breaking three, so that's pretty neat. Ah, the warped forest, very good, very good. I definitely want some of these blocks, um, over here. I will need silk touch to get the dilium. Uh, ooh. Mystical. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I will need Silk Touch to get the Nilium so we can actually grow this stuff and farm it, but nice to know there's one pretty close to spawn in the 
normal nether. That's pretty neat. Currently, I'm looking for a nether fortress, however, because I got a ender pearl. And I want to make myself an ender chest. So I need the blaze powder for that. Oh, man, it's so tempting to just take all the shroom lights, but I think I'll, I'm going to leave them. We can harvest all the shroom lights in the resource world. We can go to down over there. And I probably will. Oh, man, this looks so cool, though. I like it. Really like it. Uh-huh. Not a fortress. There you go. It's just spawners right right over there, and then apparently there is a fortress right around the corner. Very neat. Give me a blaze. Oh, let's see. Oh, one would have one would have been enough. One would have been enough. Okay. Okay. Don't don't touch them. They hurt. They hurt. That one's down. Okay, we we got what we wanted. Okay, that one's down. Keep dodging. Sweet. We got two of them. That shall be enough for now. <laughs> Before we burn and die, let's just take that and leave. The eye of the ender and the ender chest. There we go. We'll put that one close to here, I guess. Um, there. Perfect. Uh, cool. So I guess now we'll have a look at what the next enchanters will get. Unenchant that one. Back to level thirty. Unbreaking three. Should we go for that? So I think I want to have fortune three on this or silk touch. Either one. If I get silk touch on it first. Then we'll enchant some um, iron pickaxes level 30 to get uh, fortune on that. But for now, I think we'll just take some lupus and some books and reroll the enchants a whole bunch until this shows what we want. Did you know, by the way, fun fact, um, I've been calling lapis lupus for a long time now, right? And I picked it up from, from Minecraft. And honestly, I just thought that's a fun way of saying that. Well, it turns out that's that's actually a disease. <laughs> I didn't know that until fairly recently. That that is the English term for I forgot what the German name is for that disease. But yeah, yeah. Now now it's even more funny. <laughs> but uh, I, for for the longest time, I've been saying lupus to lapis, and I didn't know that that it's actually a thing. And silk touch. Very nice. Uh, efficiency 4 and breaking 3 silk touch netherite pickaxe. That is pretty sweet. Needs efficiency 5. Did I say 5 or 4? Needs efficiency 5 and needs mending. But then this thing's perfect. Sweet. Um, I'll do that with books, I guess. Uh, speaking of. What are our next book and chat? Knockback 2. How about no? And Oh, well, I should probably... Give you that one. Fortune 3. Hey, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Uh, that's power 3. Now, I want to have infinity on my bow, but I guess I'll go for this enchant next. But for now, this is, I think, where we can end the first episode. I hope you like where my setup is going so far. I usually just spam my things everywhere. I thought this time around, I still have things sort of spammed around, but I'll arrange them a little bit more. And <laughs> I don't know why, but this looks kind of neat. This looks looks kind of neat. It looks still random, but kind of purposeful, right? I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, a lot of fun, the early game. Uh, we are set up well, so the next episode we can actually start building on the biome. And maybe build a farm that I've been thinking of that might come in handy. But we'll talk about all of that in the next episode. For now, um, when the server started, the yeah, server so was struggling maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, because a lot of people were running away from spawn all at once really fast, and the server had to load a lot of things. 
and people kept relogging to force the server to load the spawn specifically around them, and the server couldn't really keep up with all the other things it had to do. So I'll leave you with a few clips of what happened during that period, and then I guess I'll catch you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll be checked back with you next time. Next episode, video, stream, whatever that will be. And until then... See ya.